It's been given to thousands of people over many decades in, in experiments. And <clears throat> it's a simple task. What, how do you interpret the results of a medical test? So take a disease, um, let's say it's um, breast cancer, and let's say its prevalence in the population is 1%. 1% of women at any given time uh, have it. Let's say there's a test whose sensitivity is 90%. That is, if someone has the disease, 90% of the time the test will pick it up. But it also has a false positive rate. 9% of the time, when a woman doesn't have the disease, there'll be a bogus result. So someone tests positive, what are the chances that she has the disease? Well, people think, oh my God, a positive test, what a nightmare. It's 90% chance she's got the disease. The correct answer is 9%. That's a big difference. And in fact, a majority of doctors get it wrong, somewhat disconcerting when you count on your doctor to interpret a medical test for you.